I know a secret about your favorite 2K YouTuber. I know exactly what they want in this game. They want a skill gap, a fun and enjoyable game, and there's one last thing that they want. They probably already have it. <laughs> it's that goddamn logo. That's what they want. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Seiko, man. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you're new. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and you can add me on Snap. That will be down in the video below. And uh, also, I'm about to start streaming soon. I'm about to just, I just want to make y'all niggas laugh and shit, so make sure you have my notifications on and stay tuned for the stream. I might stream tomorrow. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, as you can tell from the title, my title says, YouTubers that are not verified in 2K19 yet, meaning that they don't have a logo. So I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't think they have a logo, and I'm gonna tell you why they should have a logo at the same time. So I'm gonna start out with the honorable mentions. G-Man. G-Man, he's about to hit 100K subscriber. He has a great uh, fan base, of, a group of subscribers and supporters that truly support him. He's pulling views in. He's uploading original content, and it's like, why not? Honest, now that I'm thinking about it, I can't think of a dribbler that's been verified. Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank's been verified. My apologies on that one. But then we have Cheeseaholic. Cheeseaholic, had, he, same with G-Man. Uh, he, he has a very good uh, group of subscribers that love his content. He gets a lot of views. He does a lot. For, he has streams and videos that go trending in the gaming category on YouTube. Badge plugging that boy. I honestly think if they would have never got banned earlier this year for posting the uh, badge glitch, that they would be verified. Because if power and grinding got verified, they would have got verified as well. But I think that really hurt their chances when they had uploaded that uh, badge glitch. That really killed their chances of getting verified. But if they do get verified, it wouldn't surprise me. Now let's get into the fucking main course, my nigga. Make sure you grab you a fork and knife for this one. We got Soluminati for number one. Simple. Reason why Soluminati is on here, it's like Soluminati just hit one mil. He's been playing 2K since 2K15. He has one of the best fan bases, YouTube fan bases as a whole. Soluminati has one of the best fan bases. Now, I think Soluminati isn't verified because of his previous videos talking about Rachel Demita, how he was saying Rachel Demita was a thought and shit. But I, hey, you can't blame him. I mean, I told you on my previous videos, me and Soluminati and Vic, we all put some knowledge on Rachel Demita. She was fast. She was fast, bruh. She was fast. She was just giving it out like communion, my nigga. But look, he should be verified because of Fre I thought if Fredo got verified, Soluminati would too because Fredo said something like Fredo, Fredo was toxic, bruh. Fredo, he he he's toxic at times. But if Fredo got verified, so so should Soluminati. Now we got Nadex, see what? Nadex, it's it's easy why Nadex won't get verified. Cause of his past statements, how he was saying some racist comments, you know, saying the N word. He wishes death and diseases on some 2K devs. You know, shit like that. It's it's really not much to say. Now, do I think Nadex should be verified? I mean, not really because of what he said, but should he? Yes. His accomplishments towards the 2K community and the things he's accomplished. He has a, a lot of supporters as well, and he pulls in views. And he's, I'll say he's probably one of the top streamers. When he streams on YouTube, he's, he's raking in about 5K. He, I went in his stream the other day, he had 10K viewers. Nadex, Nadex, he's, I don't think he'll be verified because, you know, he said the N-word. And when YouTube hands out these uh, logos, it's a reflection on them. So if they give Nadex a logo, it's like they have to give everybody one because Nadex deadass was calling niggas a nigger on fucking stream. Like, to where people can see. It's not like it was allegations. It's, it's literally clips of him saying it. So it's like if 2K gives Nadex a logo, they got to give everyone else a logo. Now we got Steezo. Steezo should have a logo because he, you can tell the devs will watch him, especially Mike Wayne, because if you're a dribbler, most of the moves that Steezo did and he found last year, most of them are patched this year. Not patched, but like, you can't do them to animate. They they fix the animations on them, like the momentum behind the back, the momentum fast double spin spam. You can't do that shit no more. You can only do it one time. A lot of moves that Steezo did and he found last year, they, they have been patched. So you know the 2K devs will watch him. Steezo is about to hit 200K, I believe. I think he's about to hit, about to hit 200. I think he's at 187k right now. And uh, 
I think Steezo he should be verified. I mean, if you're if you're adding all these other guys, I don't want to rain on nobody. I don't want to piss on nobody's parade. But some people, there's some people with 30 that had 30k subscribers that were just streaming, and they have a YouTube logo. I think Steezo should have one too. The only reason why he maybe won't have one is because he told Ronnie to fucking suck his dick. He tweeted at Ronnie, told that nigga suck his dick straight up. And probably because he doesn't upload consistently. That's the only thing I can think of. Swante should be verified. Now y'all saying, why Swante? Swante, had, Swante is, he's an OG. He's he's uh, original. He's good at the game. He has a great uh, bunch of supporters. I mean, subs. I mean, if we're talking about subs, then all these niggas should have it because they all have uh, almost 200K or above 200K. Swanson, he's been playing the game for a minute. The only reason why I don't think they'll give him a logo is because he dead ass. He he's just violent. He's a verbal assassin, bro. He will dead ass tell you. He will violate you and your whole family. He says some hurtful things, but it's it's all love. Like he's never serious. He's just it's for entertainment. Same with Nadex. He says it's for entertainment, but I don't take that shit as entertainment. If you calling someone a nigger, that's not entertainment to me. Next, we got Duke Dennis. Now, I thought Duke Dennis would have got a logo simply because Ticino got one. They both started uploading on YouTube in 2K17 around the same time, and they both have 300K subscribers. I believe Duke got 300K. He just hit 300K, I think. But they both got 300K. So if Ticino got one, Duke Dennis should have one as well. I mean, I don't know what kind of system YouTube has going on. I mean, not YouTube, but I don't know what kind of system 2K got going on to get a logo, but... It should be some type of requirements or qualifications or something because you really got niggas out here like, why the fuck am I not getting the logo? Duke Dennis has never, I never heard him talk bad, like violate anybody, bro, anybody. He's always carried himself into like a humble and a humble and a respectful manner, bro. Like he's just a good sport. All He's an all around good sport. And I never heard him talk bad. Like he just carries himself professionally. And he's just a goofy person, bro. I don't really see why he doesn't have a logo. Ronnie knows him because he went to his stream one day. But uh, that's about that's about it for the video. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Let me know in the comment section below. Talk to me in the comments, bro. I love getting comments. And uh, make sure you stay tuned for the streams coming up. Gang.